our last video we went over uh, kind of like how logs are stored in Linux, where they're stored, uh, the system service that stores log uh, using the syslog protocol. We know the system D journal D service aggregates all those log messages into a journal. And in the last video we went over our syslog and how to configure our syslog and how our syslog kind of pulls its messages from uh, the system journal and sorts them into its respective locations based on the R syslog configuration file. Uh, but in this one, just quickly, I want to go over journal CTL. So again, the same service, systemd journaldservice journal D service that's aggregating these log messages into a journal. Um, but we can view that journal using the journal CTL command. So if I just type in here, uh, journal, if I spell it right, journal CTL, right? It's going to spit out this big journal. Um, of all these different things that are happening on the system. You know, I can go to the end of it here with Shift-G. Um, and I can, if I do a journal uh, CTL here, dash dash help, I have all these different options. So, you know, I, I can narrow it down if I wanted to. Um, we've got, uh, you know, the sense option so we can Look for logs since a certain date until a certain date. Uh, lines, the number of lines, um, that's pretty handy. So if I wanted to do uh, journal CTL uh, dash n here, uh, maybe the last five lines, um, that's all I get, right? So that's quick, quick, dirty how to use uh, journal CTL. Um, but the thing with journal CTL, and, and that's really important to remember, um, because obviously the reason I'm making all these videos in the first place is because I'm studying for the Red Hat Certified Systems Administrator certification, and as as I learn these different things, you know, as I as I look go through the objectives and look up everything I can about those that objective, right? Um, one of the objectives is to configure, uh, you know, a persistent system journal, and because the system journal is ephemeral, um, all of its logs by default are stored in run log journal. You can see that over here on the PowerPoint. So if I cd to run log journal here, and I do an ls, I've got a directory here that looks like nonsense, right? Um, but And I'm not going to be able to read any of these, so maybe I just have a system journal, right? Um, it's a bunch of gibberish. But that's ephemeral. Everything in here is going to go away on the next reboot. Um, and the we can change that, right? So if we head on over to, if you look at the PowerPoint slide here, if we head on over to CD etc uh, system D here, oop, yep, uh, journal, actually I want to vim this, the uh, journal here, journal D.conf, right? Um, I've got an option here uh, in this journal D configuration. Uh, and it's by default it's set to auto this storage option is set to auto by default and what auto does is uh, when it when it boots up it's going to say by default um if persistence if the var log journal file does not exist we will run this by default in the run log journal location so by default it's a, it's going to be ephemeral unless you have created a var log journal file. It's going to know it's there, and then it's going to choose that. And that's the auto option. Basically, file exists, make it permanent. File doesn't exist, make it a temporary. If I were to change this to the persistent option, persistent, all right, um, storage of the journals would persist across reboots. It would uh, store that in var log journal if it doesn't already exist upon the next reboot or upon when I restart the service of uh, journal D, it'll create varlog journal if it's not already there. And then we have volatile, which obviously you can uh, make it out from the name, but uh, it's going to store logs in the run log journal, even if you have var log journal configured. So uh, by default, storage is set to auto. If var log 
journal exists, auto will choose persistent. If var log journal doesn't exist, auto will choose volatile. If you set it to persistent, it will create var log journal, or if var log journal exists already, it will place those logs there. If you set it to volatile, it will only place logs in run log journal.